The notion that young people across the world face a cruel fate holds true for Chicago public school students. Week after week, the nightly news is a reminder of that. There's definitely a, a lot of crime that takes place in and around the schools. Uh, regardless of the neighborhood in Chicago public schools, it's a big issue. The Chicago public school system loses more than 30 students to gun violence each school year. While most of these deaths occur in the streets, arguments and tensions follow kids from their neighborhoods into the classroom and back to the street again. Most Chicago school students say personal safety is their top concern. A group of young professionals in Chicago has taken it upon themselves to connect with middle schoolers on the city's south side. They are doctors, engineers, and graphic designers during the work week. On Saturday mornings, they become mentors and friends to boys and girls they otherwise wouldn't have a chance to meet. I think we're starting to feel a little out of touch, you know, going into our 30s and just kind of feeling like uh, disconnected. And um, I think that's where it kind of sprung out of. It's like, what are we doing that is differentiating us from just, you know, Joe Punchcard, you know, that just kind of goes and does his work and goes home and repeats the routine the next day. The group started with a grand vision to establish junior youth programs throughout the city, and they took on a name that underscored their intended staying power. They call themselves Chicago Youth Animators, or SIA. Animators is like we bring ourselves to life, be ourselves, and like shine. After two years of working with local kids, the SIA animators know achieving their vision is going to take some time. Animating junior youth is a challenge. It requires dedication to developing one's own skills and a commitment to maintaining relationships with the kids themselves. SIA grew out of friendship. We were a group of friends that just met each other at uh, parties and such, and as we started talking, our conversations naturally led to the same same issues, the same fundamental issues, which were, what are we what are we doing uh, in life? What are we doing uh, to affect the world? There is something very unique about the group of friends: uh, uh, the willingness to help other people. I guess is very unique that um, they're willing to take action, not only to pray but also to do. As these conversations became more frequent, the group, from all different spiritual backgrounds, decided to start a study circle to give a more concrete shape to their discussions. They started by going through the first book in a Baha'i-inspired training course called Ruhi. The book covers the spiritual nature of life. And as we were doing that, came this idea that we should do something that actually applies these principles to our lives. And so the main principles being the idea of virtues uh, or spiritual qualities as being uh, the meaning behind life. And so we wanted to help kids do, the, uh, do that as well. What is the animation part of it? Entertaining. Entertaining? What do you think, I'm here to put on a song and dance for you? <laughs> huh? You think I add another day to my week, my five day work week to come here in the morning and entertain you? No, what's animate? What is animate? Yeah. Bring something to life. What? Yes. The Chicago Youth Animators found a middle school that was willing to host their Saturday program. The school is on Chicago's south side in the Hyde Park neighborhood. There's a lot of different cultures within a really short physical geographical area. Barack Obama's house is about a block and a half from where our school is, but a block and a half the other way to the west is, is really destitute and there's a lot of crime in the area. I had to make a choice of getting out the gang or staying in the gang. And I did, I made a choice to get out of the gang and um, take care of my family. 
The Chicago youth animators were careful to tailor their program to offer a unique learning opportunity. Which is the spiritual side, and, and that's very important because it's what they're going to resort to when they're trying to make a decision, um, and they're by themselves, whether it's not doing drugs or choosing the right career or whatever the decision is, they only have those internal tools to, you know, work with. Gentlemen, <clears throat> okay. They chose to use a Baha'i-inspired curriculum to achieve their goals. The curriculum includes a series of stories and fables that illustrate the use of virtues in daily life. Two frogs that got stuck in a bowl of cream and one frog, one frog, he was like, um, he, he gave up and drowned at the bottom of the cream. And the second frog, he like, I'm gonna keep on going and everything. And he got his way out of there. He built himself from the start. the lesson behind that? Um, that to never give up. The Chicago youth animators say the curriculum shies away from lecture. These virtues that are, are in each of us, these virtues are, uh, these virtues are in each of these kids. And we just, our job isn't to put the virtues in, but to bring them out of these kids. And so with that perspective, it becomes a very different dynamic between facilitator and the student. Uh, the facilitator doesn't have an authoritative role. The, the facilitator is just helping the kid, uh, is just helping the student work through uh, what the virtues are and how they apply to their life. The SIA animators have found relationship building with the kids to be the key. There was no violence. You've got to appreciate those there was, things. There was a lot of composure. There were a lot of serious faces. It was just like, I'm doing this. I'm rolling all the way. They say relationships are important to nurturing self-esteem and positive behavior in adolescents, who by their very nature yearn to belong. Every time they try something, you can tell that they're worried that you're either not going to like it or you're not going to pay attention. And one of the things that we've been really good at, uh, one of the great successes of SIA, is that all the facilitators express how much they like the kids. The effect of knowing that they're going to be liked, regardless of how they answer a question, has also been remarkable. These kids are really comfortable answering questions that they don't think they know the answer to. They, they try. They, uh, they'll make guesses at really deep questions that I know that I would, be, I would be intimidated by if someone were to ask me. And these kids take them on, and they're eager to put their hand up and to be called on and to, and to see how they, how they do. They're, they're willing to put themselves out there. And it's because, it's because they know that they are liked and they're valued for who they are. Katie, she told me this poem, and it was like something like, um, let your heart burn with love and kindness, people who caught your path and stuff, and then I try to do that. And it's teaching me, like, um, love people, even though they doing you bad, just love them back. And it's just like, if I do it, it's like, I don't get that much feeling like I did before when I first started seeing it, and then it's like, I didn't like people because they, how they treated me, but now I like them because they don't like me, I just try to like them back. Relationship building is a natural part of a project that was initially born out of friendship. The Chicago youth animators know their presence has an important influence in the lives of these junior youth. Um, the sense of urgency, every day that goes by is, is a day that you could be changing somebody's life. I'm pretty sure that we can all spare one or two Saturdays <laughs> a month, there's a need for us to step up. I feel a lot more fulfilled by going there and participating and just hanging out with these kids um, on a Saturday morning. And so that is for me just the, the spiritual um, food that I need. Safe, safe, safe. commitment, commitment, respect, respect, accountability, accountability and good times. See ya, school! Stay in school too!